So guys, I wanted to do this video because RC cars have come into my life about two years ago. And it made me start to pay attention to the market, what things are doing on eBay, uh, looking at some of the clubs on Facebook Marketplace, uh, Facebook groups, and seeing in general what RC is doing market-wise and where is it wise to put your money. Um, I think in general this year, 2020, due to COVID, uh, RC has seen a nice uptick in popularity again. People are, are diving back into it because you're home, you got some money stashed away, uh, you want to get back into something, you want to you wanna tinker, and uh, it's also great for kids, guys. I've spoken about this before in my interviews with other RCers, and you know, getting your kids outside and get them playing with this, it's, it's a great bond with your kid. And um, you know, getting them out and physically working on something and playing with something and then you helping them in the end, I think is awesome. And I think that's come back in 2020. You know, there, there's been some unity there because people are home and it's, it's more time you know, with family. Uh, so we've seen an uptick in the market, which is a good thing. I, it's, it's fantastic. And I think with the help of Arma, Arma's been doing some spectacular work with their cars, the frequency of how often they're throwing cars out on the market. Even through COVID, they've been putting out some amazing cars. Um, in 2019, I mean, it was just every few months they were coming out with something else that was bigger, badder, and better than the previous model. Uh, they weren't just repainting the body in a different color and calling it a day. So their competitors have to try to really keep up with them and i think arm has brought the interest back into the hobby as well so that's what i'm saying 2020 and on and beyond is looking good for rc right now um there's even certain cars that are on the market today uh, i've spoken about them before in my interviews the jlb line the jlb cheetahs the j3 speed um those cars i've actually seen go up in price if you go to banggood.com I was seeing the J3 speeds. Uh, I picked one up for 275. It was one of my first cars that I picked up uh, after I picked up the uh, the DHK Maximus. And if you go on their website now, it's well over $300, 330, 340, something like that. But after shipping, if you go on eBay right now, the J3 speed is now in the four to five hundred dollar range. So it's really remarkable uh, seeing new cars actually going up in value. Even the DHK Maximus, which was my first car that I jumped back into the market on. If you go on to Banggood, it's over $400 now. And uh, I picked it up, I remember, for like $385 um, at RC Hobby Explosion in Texas. And that came with two batteries and such. And that's been fluctuating as well on his website. So I've seen it go up and down. So there are certain cars out there that are actually really holding well or going up uh, as time goes on. So uh, pretty cool. But, you know, when when you want to jump back into this hobby, you need to expect that you're going to spend some money. So have some money put aside in this hobby if you're just fresh getting into it, uh, because they with Google push notifications today and alerts that we get on our phone when I jumped back into this, all I wanted, all I said to myself was, I'm going to get one truck. That's it. I'm, I'm not going to go any further than that. Well, I fell down the rabbit hole and I wound up picking up a second truck about, you know, a few weeks later and then a third and then it just kept going. And then uh, I was looking then for more vintage stuff and yada, yada. So have some money put aside for this hobby because it can really suck you down a hole. I've come across a few guys in my uh, uh, selling history with these RCs that are looking to buy these and they don't have the money. Stop, don't do that because <laughs> you're gonna get sucked down that hole. Uh, if you it, put your priorities first, um, if you don't have any money and you're broke, don't buy an RC car. Move on, save up your money before jumping into this hobby or getting anything else. Uh, I know it could be somewhat of an addiction. They're awesome, they're fun to have, but uh, it, it's, it's a good idea to have some money put aside. To that end, you know, most new RCs that you do buy today, as time goes on, yeah, they'll start to depreciate a little bit in value. When the new version comes out, they'll start to depreciate in value. Nobody really wants the older version, so everyone's looking for the newer version. So if you're going to be putting your money into RCs, look into going into some uh, vintage RCs. Why? Because these are appreciating in value as opposed to depreciating in value. Now, keeping them like this in a mint condition 
as maybe a shelf queen. It's like anything else with other hobbies that are out there. There's vintage video games. There's vintage. There's baseball cards. I even see Garbage Pail Kids. If you guys know what Garbage Pail Kids are, those cards are on eBay. Anything vintage collectible does pretty well in the markets today. People want to go back in time and relive their youth, right? So uh, I just scored this Tamiya or Tamiya, however you want to call it, Blitzer Beetle. And of course, the Beetle, because I have a Beetle Volkswagen restoration shop, so it's got to be part of my shelf, right? Found this. It's an original piece, early 90s, original box, instructions, and this thing is mint. Look at this thing. There's not a scratch on it. It's a beautiful build. Yeah, it's something to put on the shelf. I know there's a lot of RCers that want to definitely run them regardless. Okay, but be prepared to, you know, pay for them when they break, because when they do break... Uh, Tamiya parts can be expensive. So to me, this is a shelf queen. Maybe I'll hold on to it for a little while and then see what the market brings and then try to make some money on it. And that's a good thing now. Now you have something to, to dip into to actually make some money back. And that could be really fun. So yeah, you want to tootle with some of the newer cars today. That's fine. And you could pick up great bashers today, even budget bashers like the Maximus, the WL Toys, any sort of the Red Cat cars, $100, $200, $300. Have fun with those. And then, you know, maybe look into a vintage RC because the Tamium line, along with Kyosho and even vintage uh, Team Associated, if you go on eBay now, you're seeing year after year the, the prices are going up. Now, even the re re's the re-releases of some of the Tamiya products are going for just as much as the vintage, which is strange. So even like the, um, the Tamiya Falcon that I have here, this is doing pretty well. The Tamiya Avante, another car that's doing really well on the market. If you go to eBay anytime and look at completed listings, you'll see the market is going up for vintage RC stuff. Even Kyosho. I have Kyosho Double there and a Kyosho USA 1, the big monster trucks from back in the 80s and the 90s. Okay, so back in the 80s and 90s, guys, all we had was this issue, RC car action. I could not wait to come home from school, open my mailbox, and look up look at RC car action. This was the information that we had. It was a wealth of information. I would dig into these articles. The, the tips were fantastic. We either had that or we had the Tower Hobbies catalog. This was also gold. We should just love to, to thumb through this. We didn't have the internet back then that we have today to research and to really see where prices are. We just had these. Uh, you know, maybe if you went to a show, an RC show, you can see some pricing or such. But now that you have the internet, you can comparison shop and you can see where things are going and you can see completed listings, like I said, on eBay and see what things are going for. So your risk in buying these cars is so low now because if you do your homework, you know, you know you're making the right purchase uh, for, for a particular vehicle. So again, with vintage, you are seeing them go up in value, which now could be really fun because maybe down the line, you can flip them, you know? So that's that's what's really cool about this hobby right now. And I think we're at a great time in history that you can do some comparison. I love having this and reminisce and look at the old technology compared to the new technology. The builds today are phenomenal, um, but this is like old school stuff when I was a kid and I can see where they made mistakes. Why did they do this? Why did they do that? And why didn't they do this? Because, you know, some of the stuff that you took look at today's cars, you take for granted. You know, it took many, many years to engineer and trial and error to really get things, you know, right. Um, and again, you can pick up great bashers today much cheaper, much cheaper than even a RiRi or a vintage RC. Uh, and they're a lot stronger and a lot faster and more durable and such. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, if you're looking to get into RC, I think it's a great time. The market looks great for both new and old. And I think, you know, again, with the information at your fingertips, you really can't go wrong. You can have a lot of fun. I just checked recently my Kyosho Double Dare that I picked up, which was like supposedly the, the Claude Buster uh, rival back then. You know, the Tamiya Claude Buster was huge. And the Kyosho Double Dare... Uh, I picked up because I liked the underdog. I wanted something different that all my friends were getting. All my friends were getting the Claude Buster. I wanted it to compete against them with the, the with the Double Dare. If you go on eBay today and you'll see unopened or unassembled product of a Double Dare, 
in the box, still in pieces, needs to be put together. They're anywhere between $700 and $1,000 I've seen on eBay, they're asking. Uh, it's pretty amazing. You know, even the Tamiya Monster Beetle, the Tamiya Blackfoots, the originals unassembled, they're in the hundreds of dollars, $700, $500, $900 I have seen. Um, pretty cool, you know. So if you have the money, you have some money you want to throw around, this is like your RC portfolio. So add a vintage RC to your portfolio and I think you'll be in really good shape and you'll start to have a lot of fun. So, you know, yeah, we want to bash, we want to have fun and, and go break things, but understand that those new cars will depreciate over time and they could be money pits. So that's my video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. It was just a little tip. I didn't go into crazy detail about, the, you know, the real ups and downs of things, but uh, I, I do think that Vintage RC is a great way to invest into a hobby that you love and it's definitely something that you can pick up and have some fun with if later on down the line you want to flip them and you want to sell them. Uh, so it's it's really looking great. This year, 2020, as sad as some uh, you know news things are these days um, with COVID and such, there are some positives, right? And um, that's what we're here for. We're here to have fun and we're here to give you know, just everybody the chance to break away and escape a little bit from reality. So I hope you guys like this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll bring, I'm going to be bringing you RC videos like this each and every week. And uh, in the end, guys, go outside, go have fun, go RC. And I will see you next time.